Hello guys. Today's session, I'm going to show you how to uh, build trusses using MFS AE Student Edition. As you can see from this uh, picture. Okay. This is what we are going to build. So you need to open your Ibeka Student Edition, right? And you can see here we have modules, right? Part module, property module, assembly module, step, interaction, load. We are not going to use all the modules, only a few. Uh, the part module, property, assembly, step, load, mesh, and job. First, we start with part module to build the truss as in the figure, right? So we create part. Okay, we name the part truss, and the modeling space is 2D planner type deformable. Base feature is wire. And the approximate size is 4 because you can see from this figure that uh, the length of the truss is 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter, and 1 meter. So it's enough uh, to put in 4. Right? So continue. You can zoom in. Or zoom out so we create using lines just draw roughly the shape of your frame no need to be exact the first time because we're going to use dimensional tools to uh, the length so add dimension Got these two trusses. So it's done. We got the shape and also the correct dimension, right? Okay, this is our frame so we go to the next module property to define the material properties we create material name the material steel so the elastic properties the young model is 200 gigapascal the Poisson ratio is not point three, and then you can de also define the density, which is seven thousand eight hundred kilometer per meter cube. But in our case, the mass density uh, is not needed actually, because we are going to use um, static analysis. But it's is okay. After that, we create the section. And 
the category is uh, beam category type we use truss the cross sectional area we need to calculate based on uh, the problems so the problem says here it has a circular steel rods with 5 mm in diameter so that's mean we need to calculate the area so pi is 3.1 2 times um, okay the radius is not 0 0.0025 times not 0 0 0.0025 so this is the area of the cross section okay so we need to put it in here Then after we create the section, we need to assign the section onto the frame. So we just select all. The section is the section. So after finishing the property module, we go to the assembly module. We create the instance. Okay, use independent. That's it. We go to the step module in order to define the analysis that. Uh, we want to perform create step okay we're going to use linear perturbation procedure type static and linear perturbation continue that uh, we go to the load module to apply the load so you can see here we have 10,000 newton fix at this point and roller support at this point So we create the load. Okay, the step will be apply load. Mechanical concentrated force continue. We apply the load at this location. And So minus ten thousand then we go to the fit boundary condition we name it left and the step will be initial displacement continue and we choose this location for the fixed boundary condition done so u1 and u2 u1 is in x direction u2 is y direction so we fix both directions and then we take another one we name it right 
same choose this location and then because of this is the roller support so we fix u to direction Okay, we can see here. The load manager also. So it's all is in order. So we go to the mesh. We need to mesh our frame. So we need to define uh, the seat. Okay. Okay, the approximate global size we're going to use is one meter because you can see that uh, end to end is one meter for all the uh, the truss and then we can mesh yes. And, and then we need to assign the element type. Select the region. And, uh, it's going to be standard linear and it's not beam, it is truss. So, okay. Okay, done. Now the last module, the job module. Okay, we create the job. We can name it Trust. Okay. And we can submit for analysis. The status here is submitted, so it's already submitted to the first uh, processor. And after completed, we have the completed status. We just click on the results, and it will give you the results. So that's it for this session. Uh, for the next session, I'm going to show you how we get the results that we need okay thank you guys